Purpose as biomaterials. Biomaterials are increasingly being used in the medical community to treat us. You may even have come into contact with some yourself. Surgical stitches, dental implants and bone plates are all made from carefully designed biomaterials. So what is a biomaterial? The definition given in Park and Lake's textbook, An Introduction to Biomaterials, states a biomaterial is a synthetic material used to replace part of a living system or to function in intimate contact with living tissue. The range of uses for biomaterials is vast. Hip replacements are made from a combination of hard-wearing plastics and metals. Synthetic heart valves and even whole artificial hearts are made from plastics and reduce the need for heart transplants. Metal bone plates hold together broken bones whilst they heal. Silicon implants are used to enhance a woman's appearance or during reconstructive surgery after cancer. Stents are used in the treatment of atherosclerosis. The metallic mesh is placed inside the artery and expands, widening the artery where the atheroma was. Thin layers of plastic can be used as scaffolding for tissue culture. Layers of skin and cartilage can be grown on these and used later for reconstructive treatment. Plastic can be used for drug delivery. A thin dissolvable plastic wafer containing drugs can be placed inside the body and releases the drug at a set rate as it dissolves. This can be particularly useful in chemotherapy where the precise location of treatment could mean reducing the amount of healthy non-cancerous cells killed. Similarly, dissolvable stitches also use dissolvable plastics. Why do polymers make good biomaterials? Firstly, it is important to note that they are not the only materials used. Ceramics and metals are used on their own or a combination with polymers to make implants. However, polymers are becoming an increasingly popular choice and are taking over the jobs of these other materials. This is because they are very easy to manipulate and design and they can have a huge range of properties. This range of properties can be easily demonstrated by looking around your home. Polymers are everywhere, from the circuitry inside your mobile phone to the nylon in your clothes. So what are polymers? And what is it about them that allows them to have their wide range of properties? A polymer is a substance with a molecular structure made up of smaller monomer units bonded together in a polymerization reaction. Polymers can be natural, like DNA and proteins, or synthetic, made by humans, such as the ones in this circuit board. Homopolymers are made up of one type of monomer unit bonded together. Copolymers are made up of two alternating monomer units bonded together. This can be used to modify the properties of a polymer. Strong, stretchy lycra is made by combining a more crystal monomer with a more elastic one. There are two different types of polymerization reaction. The first uses an addition mechanism. An alkene comes into contact with a free radical which has an unpaired electron. This opens up the alkene's double bond, giving the carbon an unbonded radical electron. The reaction ends when two radical carbons meet and bond, forming the polymer. This is called chain growth polymerization. The second uses a condensation mechanism. This example uses an amino acid. The negative oxygen bonds to the positive hydrogen, opening up the double bond on the acid. The OH- ion is expelled from the molecule and the nitrogen and carbon bond. The nitrogen is still positive, however, so a hydrogen is given to the OH- ion to produce water. A peptide bond is then formed. This can occur many times to produce a long polymer chain. These are step growth polymers. 
Step growth polymers are biodegradable. Polyglycolic acid is an example of a step growth polymer used to make dissolvable stitching. The glass transition temperature is a measure of the strength and brittleness of a polymer. It is the temperature at which a polymer converts from a glass to a rubber. It is affected by several factors. Chain length, the rigidity of the polymer backbone, the attractive forces between the groups in the polymer, which can cause dipoles or hydrogen bonds, and whether or not the polymer has been vulcanised. Vulcanisation is a process where an additive is used to create crosslinks between the polymer chains. The more intermolecular interactions between the polymer chains, the higher the glass transition temperature and the more strong and brittle the plastic. Cross-linked polyethylene is a polymer which has un undergone vulcanisation. It has a very high glass transition temperature and is used in hip replacements as it does not wear away easily. When designing biomaterials, safety and biocompatibility is of utmost importance. All materials undergo clinical trials to ensure they are not toxic before being used on a human patient. This is especially important if they are biodegradable, as the monomers will be released back into the body. You have to ensure that any implants will not be rejected by patients' bodies once they are in place. Ideally, if the implant is permanent, it can be incorporated into existing tissues, such as in a heart valve. If it is not permanent, however, it is ideal that it is biodegradable, so that no intrusive removal is needed. What is the future of biomaterials? Current research focuses on increasing the biocompatibility of biomaterials. This would completely revolutionise the prosthesis industry. It would allow devices to heal in a physiologically normal way, which will allow implanted limbs to completely replace the functionality of lost limbs. It would also improve the function and reduce infection rates in current implants. A completely new area is the use of biomaterials in diagnostics. A chip array containing DNA of bacteria could be used to recognise the origin of a bacterial infection almost immediately. A device containing living cell cultures of, from a person's body could be used to synthesise on-demand pharmaceuticals directed to the physiology of the individual. The opportunities are endless.